Hi everyone. The problem now that we are going to solve has the input table as retail table. This table has the below columns. It has the ID, which is the ID of the product name, which is the name of the product and the amount. So basically this table represents the transactions that are done for this product and the amount that was transacted whether it was a credit amount or whether it was a debit amount. So that is the input. As part of the output, what we need is, we need the ID of the product, name of the product, the total transactions that has happened with the product. So for example, this product t-shirt, the total number of transaction is four. With the product shoes, the total number of transaction is three. Next, we compute the total credit amount that is the negative amount that is present and then we compute the total positive amount for that particular product which is 770 for the t-shirt product and 2100 uh, is the debit amount for the shoes product and 3800 is the credit amount for the shoes product. Okay, so let's start working on this. First, we will build a simpler approach and then uh, we will uh, write a very uh, crisp query. Okay, so we will operate on this input table. So what we will do is we will keep all the columns as it is and now we will separate out the amounts. Okay, so wherever the amount represents the debit amount, it will show the Okay, let's write the condition then we will understand. So now what we will do is whenever the amount is less than zero, okay, then we will keep the amount. Otherwise, it will be zero. So this will be our credit amount. Okay, so whenever the amount is less than zero, we keep the amount as it is. But if it is greater than zero, okay, so it we are talking about this scenario if it is less than zero keep that amount if it is greater than zero eliminate the amount so let's run this to understand it better so i'll just execute this so this is what we have so now what we have done is the amount column which is there out of out of this amount column we have created a credit amount column Okay, so credit amount represents the negative amount. So whenever the amount is positive, it does not correspond to the credit amount. So it has been nullified. It has been made to zero. Wherever it is positive, it is made to zero. Only when it is negative, we have kept that amount. So this is our credit amount column. Similarly, on similar lines, we will write another case condition such that when the amount is greater than zero, okay, when the amount is positive, then we keep the amount as it is. Otherwise, we nullify the amount and call this as debit amount. Okay, so now let's run this. So each of the amount, it will either go in the credit amount column or debit amount column based on whether it is positive or it is negative. So this is a positive amount, it will go in the debit amount. This is a negative amount, it will go in the credit amount. Then this is a positive amount, it will go in the debit amount and likewise. Okay, so now what we will do is, once we have separated these amounts into credit or debit, we can easily now do the summation. So if we group by the ID and name and do the summation on this column, we can get the credit amount and similarly summation on this will fetch as the debit amount. So, so what we will do is uh, whatever uh, data we have fetched, let's create a CTE for this. So with retail CTE as this. Now we will operate on this CTE. Okay, so now what we will do is we will take the ID and name 
and we will do the summation of the credit amount which will give us the total credit amount similarly we will do the summation of debit amount which will give us the total debit amount and we will do the grouping on this id and name column okay so once we do this we will be doing the aggregation on the id and name and doing the summation of this amount column so let's run this and see the output and uh, and we will just order by the id of the product so that the lower id products are at the top okay so this is the solution uh, solution that we are looking for and in addition to this we also need to fetch the total number of transactions okay so there was this ask of finding the total number of transactions as well which we can easily find using the count uh, function so what we will do is we will do a count implement count function here we will use that and this is our total transactions okay now let's run this we have the total transactions here and we have uh, correctly computed the total credit and total debit amount for each of the products so this is a elaborative way of writing this query okay so we have created a cte understood how the uh, how the amounts are segregated and then on top of that we have done the aggregation now if we see just this part okay now what we are going to do is we are going to write a, a query wherein it will like in the same select statement we will fetch this output okay so now what we are going to do is this is our data that we have obtained okay so we are going to do the aggregation on this data itself so uh, we have i have just run this query so we are going to operate on this data and we are going to do the aggregation directly now okay so what we are going to do is we are going to use id and name and we are going to do the aggregation on the id and name column and we are whatever is the credit amount we are going to do a sum okay we are going to do the aggregation and this will fetch us the total credit amount okay so we have done the aggregation here we have done the summation of this similarly we will do the aggregation on the debit amount and this will fetch us the total debit amount okay so it, it is this aggregation this is this here we have applied the sum operation now to find the total transactions we will use the count uh, function and this will be total transactions okay now let us and another thing is we will just do the ordering by the id now let's see so we have got the same output directly like without writing a separate uh, separate cte and writing separate uh, select statement in the same select statement we have fetched the result as required wherein we have got the total number of transactions and the amount separated into total credit and total debit amount so this is the query that we have written so if you have any alternate solution please post it in the comments we will be adding the create table and insert statements in the description if you found this video useful please like the video and please subscribe the channel if you have not yet subscribed thank you